So this is the game that my viewers have been suggesting to me for the past few weeks. What have I got myself into? How rich are we to live in this neighborhood? Jesus Christ. <clears throat> hey! Everyone is 18, but we're all going to school, so how does that work? She is not 18. She looks about six. There's all these Japanese names. <laughs> then there's fucking Doug. I love naming my character Doug. I stare blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. Oh, so am I just depressed? The scene starts with everyone's favorite protagonist, Doug, feeling sad. To solve this, the random girl we met at the start, Sayori, dragged him to her club, the Literature Club. Hello, guys, I'm Doug. Um... Yeah, that's it. Oh, yeah. Fucking hell! <laughs> right, right. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, chat. It's a woman. I don't really know how to respond. What are you looking at? Not you, mate. Piss off. Why don't you shut up, you twat? Alex likes Yuri so far. Which one's Yuri? Notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Well, well, well. Ah, uh, it's not the first time a woman has wanted a slice of the dog pie. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. Thank you. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Is she a spasmo? What are you talking about? So what made you consider literature club? Um, I got dragged here by an annoying little run. No, we actually don't like do anything in this club. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Oh, Christ. Can I at least have some input in writing a poem? Sticky! <laughs> Stick your eyes right back. Right, so how this works is I choose a bunch of words and each one I choose appeals to a different character in the game. Hopefully it makes them like me more. The way I know how to... Get the words that Yuri likes. So I just go for the words I don't understand. Infallible. Boom. Hi again, Doug. Hello, you're right. Oh, Yuri even brought you something today. What? Why are you so embarrassed? Just give me the gift. I ain't gonna, like, throw it away or something unless it's shit. Yuri reaches into a bag and pulls out a book. Oh, shit. I didn't want you to feel left out. I wish you did. And chat, there's a problem with giving someone a book as a present. They have to act like they like it. Then I have to read it because she's gonna keep asking me, Oh, did, did you do? What did you think about this part of the book? Nothing, mate. I threw it in the bin as soon as I got home. I used it for firewood. And we could, you know, discuss it. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more. So am I, actually. I know what kind of man you are. I catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. It looks like the same book that she lent to me. I think she noticed me looking at her. Oh, for fuck's sake. Don't try this at home. Remember, this is fiction. This is why it's pissed me off, because this just wouldn't happen. I'd, I'd look at her. She'd look at me and say, Ugh, what are you looking at, creep? Like, yeah. I'm just curious, how come you two have, you have two copies of the same book? Ah, well, I stopped at a bookstore yesterday. Ah, that's not what I meant. Just spit it out, love! You're not playing FC25? Uh, no, no, mate, this is FC25, actually. Uh, we're just getting, just hopping onto clubs now. Realize she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. Looks like she's reading my book instead. Sorry! Mate, alright, Yuri, you're coming on a little strong, mate. Okay, bro, okay, bro, what's it, bro, how does he do it? How's he done it? He's been here a fucking day. I feel like I need to put the glass on for some swag, because Doug's kind of outclassing me here. The main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways. Oh, damn, yeah, he's fumbled. Doug, you fumbled, you fucking moron. Thinks about time we share today's poems with each other. Oh, shit, what did I write? A common theme throughout this game is that the characters share poems with each other every day. Every single day. This is to show their feelings or show off their writing style. I haven't got a clue what poetry is used for. I'll give it to Yuri just because I've been speaking to you for the whole time. As Yuri reads the poem, I notice her eyes lighten. Exceptional. Mate, I chose 20 random words, put them on a page, and you're calling it exceptional. Well, that's about what I expected from someone like you. Fuck it, like you! Shut up! So basically, it's not cute enough for your taste. Yeah, dog, clap back, bro. Do you want to get smacked? Man, what the fuck is you what talking the about? Fuck? Mother, is she not realizing that the window that I'm gonna boot out of is just fit? Okay, no, no, no. I just realized um that is not a good thing to say. I forgot. I'm in control of my emotions. I will not be booting any people out of any windows. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly. People can try, but that's about it. Get out. Get out! Get out! You are not worthy of being in a literature club, you absolute spanner. I told you I weren't gonna like it. Yeah, you yeah, you know what? You got that right. I like oh piss off dog. Chat, the thing is, I thought I was gonna get choices in this game. I thought I thought it was like a choice-induced game where I could like choose my outcome. Why am I saying I like something when I don't? Glad you learned something. I didn't! I didn't! Yeah, that's no, I did. I learned that I have a newfound Deep-rooted hatred for you. Oh, they're gonna hate each other. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, oh, thanks. It was just cute. I'm trying to say something nice. Eh. I mean, you have to try hard to come up with something nice to say. Yeah, yours was shit. Well, I do have a couple of suggestions. Hmm? 
I was looking for suggestions. I would have asked someone who actually liked it, which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it. That is no surprise there. You're about equal IQ levels. And Doug did too. Whoa, 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 fucking whoa. Let's not be hasty here. I humoured you. And against my own free will, I humoured you. Doug liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Why is everyone using me as the borderline thought's impressive? I've been here for a day. Oh, wait, the music stopped. Oh, shit, it's weird about music. Eh? Okay, never mind. It just got to something more goofy. Oh, no. Shut your dumb asses up. I don't care. I'm trying to go home and watch Naruto. I was the only one whose boobs magically grew. What the fuck? Listen here, Natsuki. This is a fucking literature club. Talking about someone's body. Out of the question, buddy! Realistically, we all know who's right here. Without warning, Natsuki snatched her own poem up the desk and storms out. On the way out, she crumples up the poem in her hands and throws it in the trash. Good riddance. How will everyone feel about showing poems? So yeah, it went really well, Monica. Went really well. I'd say it was worth it. It was alright, well... When the fuck did you get back? After that catfight, I work on putting together a piece of literature that would put Shakespeare to shame. <sighs> Fucking hell, another club meeting. Oh, how are we already here again? Will you come with me to buy a snack? No thanks. <laughs> Have that. Why don't we take a look at your purse, Sayori? What? Am I robbing her? Only two small coins for that. She's trying to make me buy a lunch! You gold digger! Fuck off! Suddenly notice that Yuri is reading a different book from the one we've been reading together. You cheating little bitch. I was kind of just waiting for you. If that's the case, why don't we go ahead and get started? Yes, let's. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Yes, I fucking love tea. Uh, English breakfast milk, two sugars, please. Ah, I might as well walk with you. Well, why are we planning a walk to a desk that's right into the front of the class? What the fuck? It doesn't take this much. Shall we go then? Look, look, we're walking three steps to the desk. Hmm, where are you two off to? To the desk! That's kind of a one-person job, isn't it? Yeah, you know what, Monica? You're completely correct. I'll back off. Monica, please mind your own business for once. Oh! 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 What's wrong with me? Uh, probably quite a lot. Wouldn't you hate me for something as terrible as that? Why would I hate you? I can't hate someone for having emotions. What kind of friend would do that? Friend, you say? Oh, oh shit, Doug, you blivering pillock! Leave the football before the football leaves you. The football's left them. Yuri lifts her head. Doug, I really like being friends with you. Oh! I was doing a bit of thinking. I decided that I'd try expressing myself a little more. Why? It turns out it's not very hard for me to do when it's when it's used around anyway. Jesus Christ, she's glazing! Oh my God, Doug, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Motherfucker, who do you think I am? A peasant? No. My parents worked hard to get me into this school so I could sit on a chair. It's a little bit easier on my back. Aren't chairs made to, like, what? I can read my back against the wall rather than bending over my desk. I'm oh, sorry, I didn't realise. No worries. I just have back pain rate fairly regularly. I do my best to manage it. Is that so? I wonder why that... Okay, dog. Okay, dog. It's mo- Oh, don't. Oh. Always hunched over like that while reading? Yes. I have terrible reading posture. Yes. Doug, I'm so proud of you for coming to that conclusion, mate. After a few minutes, I finally managed to relax a little. I put a teacup to my legs and fumbled with a chocolate wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Oh, that's, that's okay. I won't take any. If I touch it, I might get smudged on the pages. Oh, you're right. As a result, I left arms practically resting on top. Jesus Christ, this is way too much hinting and not enough action. Take a chocolate candy and pop it in my mouth. Then I take another chocolate. You fat. Don't feed her. Do not feed And I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. Is this actually what school in Japan is like? <laughs> what the fuck? I've just fed a girl. What's on? How is this situation even a thing? So I'm going to a reading club and there's a... A good looking girl there, which is already massively fictional. And I'm feeding her. What the fuck? Um, Doug. Sorry. Yeah, what? Yeah, Doug. Oh, he's fumbled again. You were just helping. That's something that friends do, right? You don't need to stop or anything. I see. D don't let... Yuri tries to return to a book, but I can just tell by expression that she can't focus now. My heart is pounding. I nervously take another chocolate. This time Yuri's eyes meet. Don't feed her again. What have I got myself into? I'm fucking shitting myself. I notice her chest is... Why are you looking at her chest creep? Like before Yuri parts her lips. No, don't! <laughs> Dog, stop talking about it! Thank God, right, okay, it just cut off. Jesus Christ, I'm disturbed. I think it's best we don't speak to each other for the rest of the day, Yuri, to be honest. Sadly, it's hard to get much personal conversation out of her. Yeah, well, I could I could teach you a thing or two, Monica, I think. Who knows what goes on in that head of hers? Me. She likes chocolate, that's what I know. And she likes being fed it. You must be pretty into her. Oh. Monica! 
mind, all right, like Yuri said, mind your own fucking business. I uh, calm down, I'm kidding, besides, I'm pretty sure she's already got. What the fudge? Bro, so, 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 so you're telling me this girl has got a boyfriend when I've been feeding her chocolate? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? She's a bro! She's a hoe! She's a hoe! Oh my god, she's a fucking hoe! She's for the streets! Bro! Oh my days! Oh my days, she's a fucking hoe! I'm in shock, I'm in shock, I'm in shock. It's too early to give up on her? No. Wait, really? Yeah, a fictional one anyway. What? I am back, what happened? I found out that Yuri's a fucking hoe! Amy likes spiders. Why? You know what I heard about Amy? What? Amy likes spiders! What type? Ickly, wriggly, hairy, ugly spiders! Mm. That's why I'm not friends with her! Tell them! Amy has a cute singing voice! Really? I heard her singing my favourite love song! What happened? Every time she sang the cure chorus, my heart would pound! To her, rhythm, to her rhythm of the words, but she likes spiders, that's why I'm not friends with her! Ah! One time, I hurt my leg bad. Amy helped me up and took me to the nurse. I tried not to let her touch me. Yeah. She likes spiders, so her hand's probably gross. I, that's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a lot of friends. I always see her talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. What if her friends have like spiders too? That's why I'm not friends with her. That's why I'm not friends with her. It doesn't matter if she has other hobbies. It doesn't matter if she keeps it private. It doesn't matter if it hurts anyone. It's gross. She's gross. The world's better off without spider lovers. And I'm going to tell everyone. <laughs> what are you trying to say here? Don't do it. Let's just say one day Yuri asked to walk home with you. Probably with Yuri because you're irritating and Yuri's also kind of irritate. I don't know. Given how hard it is for her to socialize, I'd feel awful turning it down. So is it... Okay, right. What, what are you trying to say? Man, I swear I'm just choosing the same words over and over and over again. So here I am writing the third shitty poem of the night. But something's different in the club this time. Sayori is sitting at a desk in a corner room looking down at nothing. Oh, bro. Don't mind me. Go talk to everyone else. Huh? Is everyone... Of course. Why wouldn't it be? She's acting weird. You certainly know a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really liked this. She's always talked to me about things that bothered her. That's her problem. She never stopped talking. Maybe she just has a hard time bringing out with the person of interest. What? What do you mean by that? Yeah, what do you mean by that? Saying maybe the only thing on her mind is you, Doug? Monica, we mind your own pissing business ones. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Monica, but I'm pissed off. I've been here five days in a row. Not one, not two, not three, not four. Five fucking days. Right, in a row. What do I want to do? Go home, chill, sleep, play video games, crack open a beer, get a pointers video on, and just... And just chill. No, but I have to come here, write my silly little poems, get judged by everyone, get called the worst by this little runt. And now you're saying, oh, she maybe she fancies you. No, she fucking doesn't. Fuck off. Probably shouldn't say too much, but Sayori talks about you more than anything else, you know? Oh. Right, this has to be about me, bro. Am I reading too much into this? This has to be about me. Right, I've got this girl acting so crazy, she's writing poems about me. I think Doug just moves like that. Natsuki shoves a poem I handle her back to me. Take your stupid poem. If you wrote it for someone else, just don't show it to me. I don't want to show it to you. I, the game forces me to. Sayori throwing a tantrum wasn't the only thing different today. There was a festival coming up that the Literature Club was participating in, and I had to choose one club member to help out over the weekend. A girl. At my house. That just leaves you, dog. Oh, great. Let me guess, Monica. Just stand there, looking sexy. Head up to her bedroom where I finally find her. Being a Gen Z! Alex, you be Sayori. Yeah, go on. You can do it in her voice. In her voice. Just remember she's Japanese. No, don't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? Uh, I guess you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Everything about her behaviour is really uncharacteristic. Sorry? <laughs> I grabbed Sayori by the shoulders. I know something happened to you. Nothing happened to me. Oh. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. The mm. thing is, I've had really <laughs> 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 I've had really bad press <laughs> my whole life. Why did you think I was late to school for every day? Because most days I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. I'm in shock. I just want to really quickly take a minute to put no, into dog. perspective. It's half eleven at night and you have uni in the morning, but this is what you're doing. Sayori isn't hugging me back. And go up her then, probably, to be fair. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sayori's arms were made outside. She starts sobbing. Yeah, probably let her go now. <laughs> no. <laughs> right, no, no. Let her go! <laughs> Don't do this! <laughs> Sayori barely <laughs> manages to speak between us. No. I don't know if I'm doing- You're not! I was a little overwhelmed after casually assaulting Sayori after hearing her meltdown, but I couldn't fret. I had someone coming over very soon. Wait, don't look at that. I- Oh, shit! Oh, 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 oh
Oh, I was a long strand of red ribbon to her desired length. And then she reaches into her bag once more and pulls out a pocket knife. What the fuck? Hey. The knife is strangely big. It's not the kind of it's a knife. Oh, fucking. What the fuck? <laughs> what am I saying? Get off your knees. Now, stand up. I want to be close to the mic. I have one fucking thing. <laughs> when you guys are doing line. a conversation, it's I have one, one fucking line. thing. <laughs> no, actually, fuck it, read it. No, read it. I don't want to be here anyway. Would you like to hold it? <laughs> oh, shit. Curious of its sharpness, I feel the point of the knife on my index finger. I'm more scared. Doug! <laughs> Why did you do that? <laughs> I didn't expect to be that short. Like a fucking knife! <laughs> fucking dick! <laughs> it's my fault! <laughs> I should have warned you! <laughs> this knife is extremely sharp! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> He can cover his skin like his paper! <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> blood trickles down the side of my finger. He takes my hand and gives the wound a close to If you're squeamish, I'll go wash your hand. Without warning, Yuri puts my finger in a fire! I feel like I'm so scared! I wasn't thinking! That's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done! How could I do something like that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry! What if she doesn't recover from <laughs> this? This might be a stupid thing to do, but I do it anyway. Oh my god. I see oh Yuri's hand on it! You are dead! Did you really just do that? No, are you I don't want it! <laughs> I knew that would be a bad idea. There are droplets of paint on Yuri's face oh, and neck. Oh fuck. Oh. Oh. Have you finished? <laughs> Probably lasted longer than me. Good job, baby. In that case, I don't think there's anything more. Oh, oh. damn. Yuri takes a step close to me, then briefly squeezes my hand. How am I supposed to respond to that? Wait, oh, what's that, Yuri? Oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Holy hell! Roman Reigns has returned! For the first time since losing his crown at WrestleMania. But the question is... Why is Roman Reigns here? Who is Roman Reigns here for? I'll see you tomorrow. I tried staying in my room. My imagination was just being really mean to me. So I had to come here and see it for myself. How much fun you have here? Cuck. I put a hand on the shoulder to reassure her. Oh. Oh. I'm scared, Darkie! <laughs> Why are you scared, girl? I thought I might like you more than you like me. Sorry. <laughs> Confess or friend zone. Everyone friend zone. The bottom one. Friends bottom. Bottom. Yeah, fuck I'm doing bottom. This is what it feels like to get stabbed in a chest. All of a sudden she turns around and drops to her oh, knees. Fuck you know. Oh fucking hell. Oh fuck's sake. <laughs> Clutching her head with both hands, she screams as loudly as she can. <laughs> one day later. I recognise Natsuki and Yuri's poems from the ones they performed during our practice. What's this? I flipped Sayori's oh. poem. It's different from the one she practiced. It's one I haven't read before. Oh. <laughs> Morning on the beach, dude. You know it's blitz. Go on, get out of my head. 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 Yeah, yeah. Mm. Get out of my head. Do what I want. Wait. <laughs> Get out of my head, I do what I know is best for you Get out of my head, before I listen to everything she said to me Get out of my head, before I show you how much I love you Get out of my head, before I finish this writing this poem This poem is never actually finished It just stops moving I gently open the door oh! Wait, you can see this on the street Yeah, yeah, you're allowed to oh! Hey. Oh! Oh! The exception has occurred what the hell? <laughs> what the heck? What the hell? Why would she do this? How could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Screw the literature club. Watch it now, son. Screw the fa- oh! oh, no, no. I can never take it back. Never, 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 never. End. Was that worth four and a half hours out? After this, time started going in a loop and things started getting worryingly odd. Oh, look for the materials another time. You're more imp- What the fuck? I don't He's actually that. got a game. He must be no, late. No, no. I brought a guest with me. Oh! So, I know you didn't really plan on coming here. We'll make sure you feel right at home. Okay? You touch me again. <laughs> I, know, I know we're laughing and joking for the stream. If you ever touch me like again, I'm gonna kill you. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. I read a horror book once. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do everything I can to give you a great... Well, 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 it wasn't long I until... Know, stuck in. Huh? Right. That's not on. I was last to come in, so everybody else is already hanging out. 
Do you get any messages on the side? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Dude. Whoa, oh, why sorry, is he... Sorry, mate. Sorry, mate. Actually, do you want to grow sorry, up? Mate. Do you want to move behind the text, you pillow? Wait, why is the room slanted? What the fuck? Basically, it's about a religious camp that was turned into a human experiment prison. The people trapped there have this trait that turns them into killing machines that lots of blood. This is a different description of the same book she gave me on the first day. But the facility gets even worse, and they start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and affixing them to... Oh, well, that might be a little bit of a spoiler. But anyway, I'm really into it. That's not worrying at all. So the girl who carries a knife in her purse... Yeah, as soon as you say this book was relatable to her. It's the kind that challenges you to look at life from a strange new perspective when horrible things happen. Not just because someone wants to be evil. But because the world Whoa. is full of horrible people and we're all worthless anyway. How fucking dare you talk Speak to me like that? Speak for yourself. I might as well get started reading it, right? Oh! So like she's reading from my book instead. Sorry! I was just I was bathing in the feeling of your body. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. The main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Oh, no, I don't relate to this character at all. I was just thinking the way she second guesses things she says and all that. <sighs> so you're talking about. Sorry. I thought you meant something else about her. Oh. Something else? Never mind! Yuri's been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Rest? Your breathing is a little. Yuri puts her hand on her chest so she feel her heartbeat. Anyway, I'm fine. I need some water. Yuri stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. What the what fuck? fuck? Oh, have you know, mate? Ow! Fuck! Dear! I think she gets a little too stimulated. She ends up withdrawing and looking for a long time. Suddenly the door opens. Yuri! I'm back! They turned her back on me! <laughs> <laughs> they gave up on me! <laughs> the sound of frantic scrolling playing tricks on my ears. The room begins to crinkle, closing in on me. The air I breathe dissipates before it reaches my lungs. They had a massive scrap about this last time. Take out your own insecurities and others like that. You react as young as you look at Oh, me? Look who's talking, you wanna be edgy bitch. Wait, wait, what's the music? Wait, go on. Sorry, that my lifestyle is too much for someone of your mental age to comprehend. The only cute thing about you is how hard you try. Whoa, be careful, they might cut yourself in that edge, Yuri. Oh my bad, you already do, don't you? Oh! Did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, hold on. Whoa! Doesn't let me choose Yuri. Oh, we're gonna keep going until it does. No, I'm not choosing that Suki, I hope you know that. You- Hey there, why don't we just step outside for a little bit, okay? I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. 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 Oh. Ah. You can go first, Monica. Oh, we're getting law. I'd like to stay a little bit longer. Oh, bro, why is she cop She's actually a cop why she I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Doug. I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? I'm sorry for causing trouble, but I really appreciate you- Whoa! Oh. 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 Another day passes. It's time for the club meeting already. That's not right. Well, why is it zooming in on our tits then? I just wanted to apologise. I promise I didn't mean any of the things I said. Oh, it's kind of nice to hear it since I was always afraid you secretly hated me or something. Natsuki turns to me. You're still on trial though. I'll what? actually fucking knock you out. Since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you'd like to spend some more time together today. I mean, in a club. My heart just won't stop pounding for some. Oh, fucking hell again. Come on, Jesse, get yourself together. Oh! Oh! Oh shit! Oh! Oh! Ten minutes? How fucking long does it take to make a cup of tea? I reach in the corner and peer around. No, Yuri. I don't want Yuri to be dead out of everyone. Oh! Oh! oh shit! Oh shit! Do you think Doug has any recollection of like what he saw? Or do you reckon he his mind also goes back to this moment? Yeah, I don't reckon he knows. Yeah. Apprehensively placed it. Oh wait, music stopped. Shit. Yuri starts to breathe heavily. I I can't! Doug! Suddenly Yuri forcefully grabs my hand. Oh bro, I got <laughs> I got sent. I got sent. My heart went stop pounding, dog. I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, dog? <laughs> oh. Oh. It even makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. Oh, fuck off, Monica. Oh. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. It ain't gonna stop me, mate. When Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. What? Why? <laughs> but the point is, you've kind of been enabling her. I've been doing none of the oh. fucking saw! I haven't! I ain't talking to her like a normal human! Fucking enabling her. So I think to keep your distance, that'd probably be best for her. Well, I'm about I'm to go read up her. Yeah. Yeah. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a lot more time with me. Oh, oh. I know the type of girl you are. You never know when I'm. Um, who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Right, but this didn't happen Whoa. yesterday. Please help me. Oh. That's my advice for today. Yeah! Yeah, baby! Hey, Monica, watch this. <laughs> hey, eyes over here, girl. Can't be fucked, can you? No. Uh -huh. No, really good, Yuri. Really yeah, that was good. Sound. That was really, really good. good. Mine's been a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take out on your pen. On my pen? Ah! Really? That is a pen that fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping and. Right, you what? You prick! You can keep the perm, though. No. 
I don't want to. I don't want your rubbish. You know what time is. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. Yeah. Happy thoughts. 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 Alright, that's it. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Damn right, don't come back. Different, I guess. Who cares about that obnoxious brat? I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Nobody cry for Oh! Yuri! That is a horrid thing to say. I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. Sometimes I feel like you and I are the only real people here. Why is she disregarding her friends to get with me? It's weird because in all the time you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. What a crime. So that's why. Wait, not yet. No, no, stop it. Uh, oh, okay, we've never got this far before with the reading. Anyway, Doug, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could... We already have plans today. You guys can do whatever you want. Yeah. What the fuck? Okay, bro, calm down. I'm gonna skip it. What the fuck? What did I miss? <laughs> Chill out, Les Jesse. Fucking hell. I need to stop saying that. I really am not, like, good enough at slang to say to use that. I was a bit younger. I'd think I would come really strongly and get a little too intense. Maybe people not want to be around me. So I started hating those things about myself. Recently, something's been wrong. I don't know what it is. But every time we come to a club, my ass starts going crazy. Like it's going to rip out my chest. I'm not crazy, right? No. No, no, no. You're just different. We're finally, we're alone. Can we just stay here for a while? We can stay here till the club ends. Well, can we do something interesting then? I don't just sit here standing there watching your eyes weirdly pulsate. Maybe it'll make me feel like stabbing my- What the fuck? Wait, wait, whoa, 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 Monica's there! You can see really, really faintly, but Monica's there. You know what? Let's quit the literature club. What the fuck? Right, we can walk home together every day after school. And read together. Eat together. Sleep- Whoa! Uh... Listen, girl, if you can speak English, and I'll do it. I'm not going to read another one of your Yuri suck-up poems. I'm still going to make you read mine. I don't want to! I don't know how to bring this up. There's been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been kind of acting kind of strangely. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to go to a therapist. As for Monica, I don't know why. She just really wants to be dismissive about this. It's like she wants us to ignore it, so I'm mad at her right now. Do not let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counseling you. Thanks for reading it. It was absolutely shit. It was the biggest piece of dog shit. Uh, is Yuri's own fault? Is she so unlikable? If you were just spend more time with Monica, all these problems will go away. Why is Monica inside everyone's heads? Just Mon- No, I want to speak to Yuri! Ha <laughs> Fuck off, Monica! Doug, I want to take this home. But you can't, mate. I wrote it. It's mine. I'm gonna take this home with me and keep it in my room. I'll take good care of it. I even touch- So, Harry, mate, Yuri's asking to keep my poem, and, um, she said this about it, and I'm not really sure how to react. I've never been this far of a woman before, so can you- can you help me? Cheers. I'll give myself paper cuts so your skin oil enters my bloodstream. Coming on a little strong there, buddy! Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it! I can't fucking read any of it, for fuck's sake! Is that piss?! Have you pissed over the fucking poem?! Right, no. No- ah! Oh my fuck off! Oh. Mom put I've endowed it with my scent. Fucking hell, she did piss on it with dirty bitch. I wanna go home. I think I'm going to vomit. Don't say I didn't warn you, Doug. Doug's going to help me. Um, how about fuck off? You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, that's just how it is. Why not let Doug decide who to help instead of abusing your power? How about I go to my house and you will piss off? I wanna go and just- I wanna go have a pint! Wait, what the fuck? My thing's deviating to Monica. Right, hold on, hold on. I need to lock in. Let me lock in. Yes! I got it! Hey, Yuri. <laughs> Uh, no, fuck off. No, I didn't! I picked Yuri! His suggestion, have you ever... Masuki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See, that wasn't very hard. Monica giggles as Yuri pushed her out the door. Just come by my house instead. The whole day with just us, the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? Absolutely, yeah, I don't want to go with Monica. Damn, I, I think we all need a crazy girl like this, low-key. I think we all need to find crazy wives like this. Then cheating would never be a thing. I can fix her. <laughs> Care anymore, dog? I have to tell you. I'm- I'm madly in love with you. Yeah, no, actually, I couldn't tell, really. Yeah, no, I thought you just pissed on a piece of paper and handed it to me because you kind of thought I was an okay bloke. Me so much I even touched my- FORESHADOWING! I KNEW IT! I FUCKING KNEW IT! Right, no, too much. Don't make me use self-defense. Yes. Cold. And that, chat, that is how you get a girlfriend. 
No! But why? Has purple hair should have seen us coming on oh, God, bro. Oh, you got here before me. Are you just not gonna... Yeah, I was about to say, surely you see the body. Excuse you, mate. Just give me a sec. No! Just bear with me, okay? Just trying to take a second. Damn, she looks kind of fine from this angle. No, nah, no, nah, I'm not cheating on Yuri like that. Guess I owe you an explanation. Yes. Right, we're getting some fucking law. That whole thing of Yuri. Oh, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess it just drove her to kill herself. Why? Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. She doesn't exist anymore. Yes. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try and make them as unlikable as possible. But for some reason, nothing worked. She just kept spending more and more time with them. Yeah, bro. She, she was fit. You made them fall madly in love with you. But, bro, it ain't my fault, man. I joined a literature club, ate a cupcake, and all of a sudden everyone was on their knees. Not my fucking fault. I thought making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you. And amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. Which made her force you not to spend any time with anyone else. The whole time, I barely even got to talk to you. So does she like me or is she like some greater god or something? But now you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. Why? You're all I need. After all this, and Doug has still not been laid. I know. I know. It's an outrage. But really bad that you had to witness some nasty things. I realised that you had the same person's perspective as I do. It's all just some sort of game. And I knew you'd get over it. To be fair, I have kind of forgotten about Sayori. So that being said, Doug... I have a confession to make. Uh, No. Japan is fucking crazy, bro. Doug, will you go out with me? Right, well... Oh, wow. I'm so happy that I'm spoiled for choice. This must be how Duke Dennis feels, bro. Honestly. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called characters right in a game dictionary. Do you want to see a trick? Sure. I can't really do much except for a couple things. Are you ready? It's gonna be a jump scare! Hello! Hello! Don't hurt me! Go away! Fucking hell, no, 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 it's good jump scares now! Jump scares now! It was the bait, it was the bait, it was the bait, it was the bait! Ah! Okay, can't do anything after all. If you gave me some- ah! I knew it! Piss off, Monica. Have that, you scrawny little prick. Dog, what's happening to me? I've sent you into a fucking stratosphere, you pussy. Did you do this to me, dog? No, no. My Peter is a virus. I, I had my trousers down. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. I loved you so much, dog. Killed everyone. No, I fucking didn't. You killed everyone. I don't really know what she expects me to say. I don't know what she wants me to say. Okay. Wait, you should do that thing that Iniesta did where he takes his socks off the pitch. Uh, he takes his socks off and sits on the pitch. How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? I've made up my mind. Doug, I know I said I deleted everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I really did love the literature club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm thinking, bro. W! Is that, did we win? Did we win? It's because I'm the president now. I really know everything, Doug. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Are you going to make me delete you too? It's us now. Oh, don't do it again. Yeah, I get it. You want to say forever. No. Fuck you, Sayori. Let them hurt you. Oh, is that Monica who just got rid of her? I'm sorry I was wrong. There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sayori. Goodbye, Doug. Goodbye, Literature Club. Not quite my tempo. Not quite my tempo. Are you a rusher or a drinker? Are you gonna be on my fucking time? Right, sorry, sorry. Emotional moment. Emotional moment. Now this world of infinite choices. What will it take just to find that special day? What will it take just to find that special day? Banger. Cold. Why is it delete us? No, 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 not the moment with Yuri. No, don't delete that. Don't delete it. Oh, fuck's sake. Okay, yeah, delete that one. That one was weird. This is my final goodbye to the literature club. I finally understand. The literature club is a, is a truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, continue to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality. A reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. Can't let any of my friends undergo so that same hellish epiphany for the last... For the time it lasted, I want to thank you for all, for making all my dreams come true, for being a friend to all the club members. And most of all, thank you for being part of my literature club. With everlasting love, Monica.
up on assignment. Two, two, two.